Oh dear, the milkmaid. Big on blouse fillings and short on complex neurological pathways. Boo boo be do. 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 Oh, no, I just don't think this is working. Um. By the great beard of someone unusually well bearded. What happened to you? I thought you were a milkmaid. I was a dairy product distribution agent, thank you. All that's behind me now. I'm at Thespian. I'm sorry. An actress. A star of stage and screen. I'm starring in a new clicky called Trolls Prefer Blondes. Oh. And why do trolls prefer blondes? Well, apparently I'm a... a, a damn, what's that word for generic pop idol? An icon? No! Icons grow on trees. Those are acorns. Really? I'm sure it wasn't acorns. Oh, well, then. Maybe it was coconuts or melons, then. I'm sure I heard it mentioned somewhere. I think I'm beginning to get the idea. Anyway, now I'm a famous pop coconut. It's ever so exciting. So you're a clicky star now, are you? Yeah, isn't it fun? They said my assets and experience perfectly suited me to the job. Experience? You were a bloody milkmaid. So? I fail to see what milk production has to do with qualities of screen charisma. Ah. Oh. oh, forget I said that. What a lovely dress. Very, very glittery, wouldn't you say? Not that I'm hinting about clues or anything. Glitter is what all this clicky business is about. Cool. Yeah, another empty-headed character. Nice glittery dress, though. Be seeing you, then. Did I say the one about oh, great no. greats yet? This one looks good. Attack of the 50-foot dwarf. Should go down a treat with the local trolls. Cut me own throat dibbler. The sort of itinerant merchant venturer that gives greed a bad name. Popcorn! Hmm. Trolls prefer blondes. Why, do they go better with broccoli? Popcorn! Do it yourself, Popcorn! Just add heat! And butter! And maybe a frying pan! Also serves as catapult ammunition! Or excellent fishing sinkers! Come and get it while it's still in stock! Only one previous owner! Or I'm letting it go for less than mark price, and that's cutting me own throat. Popcorn! Is this all your life has to offer? I thought you might have, well, you know, improved yourself. Reached for higher goals. I'm reaching, Gav, I'm reaching! Matter of fact, I'm going into clickies. Clickies? Just what Ank Morpork needed, eh? Exactly! Yeah, for you, irony means sort of like iron, doesn't it? <sighs> so we're into clickies now, are we? 
At last, the monkey has found the banana plantation. Yep, moving pictures. Here, have a read of this. Clickies. Oh, now there's romance for you. Hot dogs, popcorn, drink stands. The merry rumble of candy rolling down the aisles. And the shows. Don't forget the actual clickies themselves. What? Oh. Oh, yeah. I mean, the shows go without saying. Chocolate dipped ice cream, novelty drinking cups, collectible lobby cards. I don't believe this. You mean to tell me that art has to take a second place to cheap licensing and marketing? Well, I can tell you that I'm above that sort of thing. Catch me being involved in some damn licensing scam? Ha! <laughs> Fat chance. The last thing I'd ever do is allow myself to become involved in a shabby marketing ploy designed to use a famous name to sell a product which is in itself utterly devoid of any real... Mm. Right. Well, good luck with the career and I'll be off. Uh, did we mention the range of pewter figurines and exciting t-shirts this time? Popcorn! Popcorn! Do it, you just and and also come and only or Lynn pop. What are you doing here? Apart that is from being a disease vector. Scouting, mate. Here incognito, looking for the next great clicky star. Heard about clickies? The latest thing. Just think, mate. A fortune could be just around the corner. All it takes is my know-how, the right actors, and a few dozen obscure objects from ludicrously scattered locations. Huh. And just how would you go about collecting all these items? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I can't imagine. Can you, boys and girls? I suppose if I ever need a devious, slimy, utterly shameless, clicky director, I'll know where to come. Gosh, now that has to be a nested hint. Oh, no. Hey, don't knock me back until you've seen the good, sir. Smashing stuff. Fine, popping grains lovingly swept from the warehouse floor. Why has he got little rat's hairs mixed up all through it? <laughs> Just keeping the grains warm, sir. An added extra and no additional charge. Oh, all right then. Anything to keep you quiet. Popcorn! My old pals, the fool and Chucky. Oh, no. If we had to have a character from the past, what happened to that nice Amazon lady? Maybe I can throw his haunted rocks into the middle of a sewer or something. Let's see him laugh that one off. Great gods, you two again! No, oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! But you're dead! You quit life stage! You're resting! Chucky wants to be the ghost of old York's past! Being dead is grand! Look, we even get flowers! Oh, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky! Now look! Knock, knock! Who's there? Cohen. Cohen who? Cohen, answer the door. 
La hong chokey chokey chok 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 Why is it everyone else toddles off to heaven or hell and you two get to hang around here? Chokey 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 chok 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 I'm stuck 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 stucky You can't leave I mean you're dead but not gone before You're haunting no, death hasn't come for us yet. Left us floating here, he did. Chucky can't leave the guild all stones and mortar. Not even for Sures. Sures? What's Sures? Oh, a pint of lager and roast pork crisp, thanks. Oh, Chucky, 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 Chucky. You're right. You are the ghost of old jokes. Oh, that's enough of this conversation for me. Now pay attention. Hmm. Attention, yes. You said that you have to haunt the stones and mortar of the guild. Guild, yes. Well, is there any reason why you have to stay here? I mean, if the stones are moved, then you can move with them. You could just hop into one of the rocks, and I could take you somewhere more interesting. Interesting, yes. Are you listening to me? No! Oh, ho, ho. chucky, 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 chucky! Just get into the damn stone! Ho, ho, chucky, chucky, chucky! Miss, uh, are you all right? Should I stop now? No, no, keep it going a little longer. My agent always said I needed more exposure. Wandering shop. No one knows why, but all the most truly mysterious and magical items are brought from shops that appear and, after a trading life even briefer than a double glazing company's, vanish like smoke. They can turn up wherever there's a suitable stretch of blank wall, but once there, they have always been there. Dust and grime and a general worn look instantly dispel any doubts in the minds of people who may have walked down that same street every day for a year without noticing it. There are three general theories to explain the phenomenon of wandering shops. 1. Many thousands of years ago there evolved somewhere in the multiverse a race whose single talent was to buy cheap and sell dear. Two. They are the creation of a sympathetic fate, charged with the role of supplying exactly the right thing at the right time. Three, they are simply a very clever way of getting around the various Sunday closing acts. All these theories have two things in common. They explain the known facts and they are completely and utterly wrong. An old woman. 
Well, I say old, but given the cruel abuses of this dingy level of technology, <laughs> the possibilities of childhood malnutrition and debilitating diseases in later life, that gives a fair range, doesn't it? And even if she is old, I mean, old is a relative term. She's older to some people and younger to others. A stuffed flamingo. Yes, well, I'm not quite sure what it's doing in an adventure shop. But if you must have a flamingo, then I suppose this is as good a place as any in which to put it. Candles, excellent. These should do the job nicely. Frog-scented incense. Extra smoky. Er... Uh, Frog-scented? In the middle of summer? These people are barbarians. A stuffed fish. Hmm. I can't say I think this is the absolute best sales venue for preserved seagoing wildlife. Still, if today was the day I wanted to go into combined camping and weapon shop and purchase sea life, then this would certainly be my choice de jour. Hey there, your highness. And aren't you a pretty little girl? I'm not a little girl. I'm a powerful and dignified magician. Why are you dressed up as a princess, then? I most certainly am not. You've got a tall, pointy hat. All princesses have tall, pointy hats. Look, it's not... And a dress. A tall, pointy hat and a dress. That's a princess in my book. So how do you explain the beard, then, eh? I thought that was just probably your peasant blood, dear. A lot of men find a bit of hair sultry and attractive. I wish a lot of women did. I can't really see that this shop serves any valid social purpose at all. It all seems like a total waste of resources. Well, that's nice coming from a princess. Look, for the last time... I am not a princess! Okay, Your Highness. Look, all joking apart, what are you selling? Well, Your Highness, this here is an adventure shop. It has all the marvellous things people need when they decide that their main calling in life is to find a hole in the ground, collect some friends, and then go delving into the underground Armed only with swords, rope, ten-foot poles, halberds, six torches, and a flask of oil. Good gracious! And is there actually much of a demand for this? No. It's all collectible trading cards these days. Dimwick, the smothering. It's taken all the fun out of the business. I can't even shift magic items anymore. Magic items? What, elven cloaks, magic swords, boots of speed, that kind of thing? That's the stuff. We don't really stock the boots anymore, though. We did have boots of domination, but a female barbarian already bought up those. Anyway, do have a browse, Your Highness, and let me know if there's anything you want. Candles? You do candles? Yes, Your Royal Highness. I make them by hand. Well, I would make them by hand, but everyone just uses continual light spells these days. I don't really stock candles anymore. Those are just display models made out of plaster. But you could make me some if you had the chance. Oh, yes, love. I just need you to bring me the raw materials. Now your grade A candle, that's made from dead whales. We used to use their nasal hairs, but these days a true pure white candle is made from spermaceti. Where does that come from? I never dared ask, love. Anyway, the next best thing is beeswax. Beeswax, right! 
We used to have a lovely bee milking parlour out the back. The bees insisted it was the only way to get the job done. Every evening we'd round up the bees and settle them down in little chairs, give them all a newspaper and let them wax away to their heart's content. Then someone pointed out that all we had to do was open up the hive and scoop out all the wax we want. The little buzzers had been having us on all along. You just can't trust a bee, can you? That's just what I always say, Your Royal Highness. Oh, stop it. Be seeing you then. That looks nice. Can I have it then? Certainly. What? No mumbo jumbo? No sudden insistence that I go on a special quest or anything? What? Me? Order a princess about? Whatever are you thinking? That looks interesting. Could I possibly have it then? Certainly. Just what I've always wanted. I don't suppose I can have it then. Why not? It's yours. You only had to ask.